Two common representations for trees are node link diagrams and tree maps. Node link diagrams are more familiar to users and are appropriate for showing the shape and structure of a tree. Tree maps are more space efficient and are good at giving an overview of very large trees. This work investigates hybrid representations that combine the node link and tree map style at different places in a single tree. An exploration of the design space involving these combinations revealed several potentially useful possibilities. A software prototype implements the three most promising of these. The goal is to allow the user to flexibly change the representation of a tree at any node, hence the name Elastic Hierarchies. Here we have a tree of 1,000 nodes. On the right we see a node link diagram showing the root of the tree and its six children. On the left is a tree map overview of the same tree within which we see the six subtrees under the root. The space allotted to the overview can be changed, causing the tree map layout to be adjusted. A rubber band indicates that the root node on the right corresponds to the entire tree map on the left. We can expand a node and the rubber band now connects that node to the corresponding tree map node on the left. If we expand more nodes, in this case, the tree is too large to fit in the viewport. Scrolling allows us to only see a portion of the tree at a time, and zooming out makes it difficult to see the individual nodes or to read their labels. The tree map on the left, however, provides a more informative and space-efficient overview of the entire tree. Now, on the right, we see a hybrid representation. The layout algorithm automatically chose to show five of the six subtrees under the root as tree maps. The remaining subtree is small enough that it is shown initially in node link form. We can toggle any of the tree map nodes back to a node link form and expand them. Notice that the subtrees shown as tree maps on the right have the same aspect ratio as the matching tree map nodes on the left to make it easier to see the correspondence between the two views. Users can resize a tree map node by dragging the bottom right corner of the node, during which the tree layout is automatically adjusted. This allows users to examine the content of a tree map in more detail and to select nodes within it more easily. Selection within a tree map is normally difficult because internal nodes are covered by their descendants. We implemented an unambiguous selection technique whereby the user first selects one of several tabs corresponding to different levels in the tree map. Each tab causes its level to highlight and allows the user to examine the nodes at that level. Selecting a node transforms it into a subtree extending out of the tree map. Multiple subtrees can be extracted from the same tree map and shown in either node link form or tree map form. By extracting a sequence of subtrees, the user can drill down a path. Each subtree that is extracted focuses in on a lower part of the path and provides surrounding context for the next level while still fitting in the viewport. Dynamic, incremental searching can be performed by entering a keyword in a box at the bottom. Matching nodes are shown in orange. The overview on the left gives the user a global perspective of all the matches, and clicking on any of these causes the view on the right to refocus, showing the details of the neighborhood around the node. In conclusion, elastic hierarchies have the potential to flexibly combine the familiarity and clarity of node link diagrams with the space savings of tree maps. We feel that these and other hybrid representations are a promising avenue for future research.